Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss that what is the difference between IGCSE Mathematics Core and Extended. If you are in grade 10th IGCSE board or if you are willing to opt for IGCSE board and if you are confused that which math should you take core or extended then this video is for you. But before proceeding to this video, I want to tell you about an online educational scam which is going these days. Actually, you know, there are many websites and platforms who promise that they provide the best teacher for IGCSE, maths and other subjects. Basically, I am mathematics and physics teacher, so I am talking in the sense of mathematics and physics, right? You know, they will ask like 8 to $10 per hour that the fee which they will charge, the online platform will charge you. They are like the middleman. These online platforms like the middleman, they will charge like $8 to $10 per hour from you. And they will hire a very big beginner teacher who does not have any experience, who never taught any IGCSE board student in his or her life. And this middleman, this platform will just give $2 or even $3 sometime to those teachers. And those teachers are teaching you. And you know, if you will study from those kind of teacher, you are not going to get any success because they do not know the proper information about the curriculum. They do not have any study material. What they do, they only give you 30 minute demo. And they just provide the demo on that topic in which they are good. After some time, if you will select them, in 30 minute demo based on that performance, you will realize after some time they will lack in teaching, right? They do not have any deep concept in mathematics or physics. So I was also part of an online platform, but you know, means I have many students of IGCC board. So they told me they are going to give me two or $3. I was there for more students, but once they told me about this fee, so I told I'm not going to teach here because I'm the best teacher. I'm one among the best teacher in maths and physics. And I have led to many students to the path of success. So I can't teach like that. So therefore, from there, I came to know the reality of these middlemen, the website. So therefore, I'm not saying you that you should join me. You should keep me as your mathematics or physics teacher. You may try me. You can take the demo, right? I will give you two demo for free. Okay, I'm not just persuading you that you have to study from me. I'm saying rather than joining any website or platform, you should join any private tutor. If you want any online tutor, there are many like me. You can join any of them, but do not go behind any platform or website because they are just the online educational scams. This is a new kind of scam which they are just having on websites and internet. So I hope that you understood this. So it was my moral responsibility to tell you about this thing because, you know, I believe that education is a human right rather than a business. But right now, there are many websites who do not consider the education as the human rights. For them, education is no longer a human right and therefore they are just doing these kind of scams. So this is information about me. If you want any notes, any study material of IGCAC, any book, so feel free to contact me via WhatsApp. This is my WhatsApp number. There is no hidden charges. I will give you the resources absolutely for free, mainly the previous year paper of maths and physics. So here there is no need for any advanced payment, right? If you want to join me, but see what the websites are doing. They will give you 30 minute demo. And they will just ask you for $800 or $900, the complete course fee. Once you have paid the complete course fee, you have no option. You, you just have a compulsion that anyhow you have to study from that teacher. You are left with no option. So this is happening. But I know that the education should know, should not go like that. So I have different options for, for, for my students. And there are many students to whom I am teaching. I have my personal personalized video. You, I can also send them if you want to join me, right? And I will give you two demo classes absolutely for free. One, one hour demo class. Now try to understand. See, who should take core and who should take extended, maths extended and maths core. 
see if you want to just have the general and basic knowledge of maths if you want that you do not uh, want to have a higher study in mathematics you just want to go for humanities or any other subject so you should take core core is comparatively relatively very very easy as compared to extended extended is really tough a uh, more tougher than the core right and extended should be taken by those student who want to make their career in mathematics or engineering so in engineering the maths play very important role so the students who are thinking that they are going to take o level mathematics in the future then for them extended is the best option you know in core you can bring the grade the highest grade which you can get in core is c and the lowest grade which you can score is g right so this is the highest grade and this is the lowest grade so most of the student actually two or three of my students they were thinking okay so in core the highest grade the maximum possible grade is c that means it might be tough therefore the people are not able to bring a star so they were thinking like that but do not think that the core is tough okay core is very 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 easy as compared to the extended maths right so therefore the student who just want the basic knowledge of mathematics who do not want to make career in mathematics in future for them core is suggested you should opt for core and there you should try to bring c grade in that because that is the maximum possible grade which you can bring in extended the questions are comparatively tough as compared to core as i already told you and you can bring the maximum grade here is a star you can bring a star and believe me bringing a star is not a tough task from a star to d this is the minimum grade which you are going to get so believe me bringing a star is not a tough task many of my student has brought a star in previous years so i will also make a video that how you should get a star what should be your strategy your approach to the extended maths right you know this is the syllabus and this syllabus is not arranged in sequence actually there are many things if you want to study trigonometry some of the things you have to cover before right so actually they are you know let me give you the example of additional mathematics so additional maths which is o level maths i teach that also o level maths so the first chapter there according to the fourth edition book is functions but you cannot understand the functions without having the knowledge of sets and relations because relations and sets they are inherent part of functions so therefore one more thing inequalities you need to understand the inequality chapter inequality for understanding and for finding the domain and ranges of any function so therefore the inequality chapter is prerequisite for studying functions so therefore this is the responsibility of a teacher that how he is going to make the plan for these lessons because if you will go by the sequence you will see that you will not understand the things and this is the responsibility of a teacher but a beginner teacher on that website he will just teach like in the sequence because he does not know what to teach before and what after right so this is the problem so here these informations whatever charts you can see tables here i have taken from the official website of cambridge so the students who is taking core the number this unit actually more questions come from here and the students who is taking extended maths the more questions come from here this part algebra right and the questions are tough in extended maths so the students who are taking core they have to give two paper paper 1 and paper 3 and the student who are opting for extended they have to give paper 2 and paper 4 right there are four papers the examinations are conducted of four papers so if you are opting for core you have to opt for paper 1 and paper 3 and if you are opting for extended you have to opt for paper 2 and paper 4 we will see these things further you know so here what i was talking about the content is not presented in a teaching order so this is the responsibility of the teacher to structure the content according to the student 
according to the flexibility according to the understanding of student this is also the important point in all the papers the scientific calculator is allowed so learner must learn how to use the scientific calculator and this is again the responsibility of the tutor tutor to teach him how to use the calculators so as i told you if you are opting for core so paper one and three and for extended paper two and four you can see here in core number is the main focus 30 to 35 percent questions are from here and in extended if you will see the more questions are from algebra so this is the difference and there is also the difference in the level of the question in core the questions are very easy in extended the questions are a bit tough now i am also going to show you the previous year paper of both right so here if you are opting for code the paper one 56 marks right one hour timing would be given sort answer type questions are there and for paper three two hour time is allocated and uh, you know 104 marks question are there there are a structure and long type answers for extended there is paper two and there is paper four so paper two is of 70 marks sort type answers are there and again as paper three of core there is paper four in extended so there are a structured question 130 marks is the weightage of paper four this is the most important one right so this was about the core and extended i hope that you got the idea that what is difference between mathematics core and extended so now i'm going to show the previous year papers see these are the previous year papers of core so if you will see the questions are very easy this is paper number one right and this is paper number three this is paper number three for that and likewise there are more than 15 to 20 papers the previous year paper this is paper number two extended and this is paper number four so if you want to get these paper, there is no hidden charges. You can easily get these papers from me. What you have to do, you just have to WhatsApp on my number. My number is plus 9170610648 and 81. Only the papers should be given to the students. I will not provide the papers to any teacher. Because, you know, I'm doing all the hard work. Why any other tutor will reap the benefit from my hard work? My students would reap the benefit from my hard work, but this is not available for other tutors. So if you are the student of IGCSC board, right? So you can just ask for them. You can also ask for other materials as well. In any subject, I mean, okay. In any subject, I mean, like if you want the four edition, fourth edition book of physics or maths or anything. So I would provide you. There is no hidden charges at all. Okay. So thank you all of you. So I hope that this video was helpful for you. And if this video is helpful for you, then please like this video and do comment. And if you have some query, you can WhatsApp.